What a beautiful sight. We are saying hello from the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center dito sa lungsod ng San Juan as we continue our live coverage of NCAA Season 99 New Heroes of the Game. And our second match on this Saturday features the Arellano University Lady Chiefs as they take on the much improved Mapua University Lady Cardinals. We are seen live over on GTV and of course all over social media via NCAA Philippines on Facebook and YouTube. At syempre, para sa lahat ng mga balita sa larangan ng palakasan, do follow us at GMA Sports PH on Facebook and on X. Mabuhay Pilipinas, my name is Anton Rojas working once again alongside Melissa Gohing Nasino. Mel, great to be back on the panel working with you today. Yes, Anton, hello to all NCAA volleyball fans and I'm so glad to be here. You know, ang dami na ng games and nagiging exciting na lalo ang NCAA Season 99 at Anton. We are here in match day number five. Ang dami nang nangyari just like Mel said and we're so excited for this match that we're about to cover. Completing our broadcast team, by the way, we will have working at courtside Aliana Faustino. We will get to her in just a bit for all of her courtside updates. She was able to speak to the coaches and the players. We can't wait to hear what she has to share for us. Let's go to the team standings right away para malaman natin kung saan ba nakapuesto ang mga kupunan dito sa early goings ng ating panibagong tournament. Well, at first, the Benilde Lady Blazers are still on top, Anton. And for the both teams that are playing now, Mapuas on the third, they had a really good start mm -hmm. um, for this season. Kaya may kita mo sa mood ng mga players natin ngayon habang nag-warm up na sobrang confident na, na entering this game. And for our Arellano University team, they need to win a game para din makabawi sa kanilang talo sa first game. Yeah, it was a tough loss for Arellano against Letran. They looked good in that opening set. May kita natin, they're a very tall team. But gaya ng sinabi ni Coach Obet Javier, it's their first ball. Dun sila nagkukulang. So let's see if they're able to have better defense today against Mapua. Importante talaga yung defense because that's the first ball. That's why, you know, tall teams sila, they need a good defense so they can, you know, um, uh, they can do a lot of spikes and they can um, convert it into points, yung defense nila, Anton. But you know what? They might also have been surprised because Letran played yeah. really well in that match. Nagising sila in the second set and they were able to sweep it all the way until the very end. So, Props to the team of Coach Oliver Almadro. They also won earlier today, shocking everybody, beating Perpetual. Pero yun nga, this is about Arellano. It's a story of redemption, and they want to pick up the pieces here today against Mapua. And it's amazing to see a team that adjusted well sa new system ni Cocho. And we, we all know kung gaano siya ka-competitive ka as a coach and emotional nga sa coach. I mean, looking at the numbers, Melissa, na dominate kasi and and this is the problem eh. Yes. Yung, yung first ball talaga nagpaula ng service aces yung yung uh, letran sa game na yon. You know they had a good start of the set. They have more attacks, more blocks. Although ang lakas talaga ng ang lakas talaga ng service ng Lady Knights that game. And the Lady Knights um, were able to adjust right away sa lahat ng mga spikes nila. Ang ganda ng defense, ng coverage nila from the second set and up until the end of the game. Kaya our Arellano Lady Chiefs fell short during that game. But you know, here in the NCAA, you can never doubt a team that is being coached by a four-time NCAA champion coach in Obet Javier. This is his 11th season at the helm for Arellano, so he's the longest tenured coach. But another coach who has been with his team for a long time is Coach Clarence Aying Esteban. This is his sixth season for Mapua, and he feels that this could be one of their best years in league history. And ang dami nilang rookies, Anton, but nakikita mo na buo yung team. And like what Coach Aying said, na they really need to work on their conditioning last season. Eh, kita mo naman sa condition nila ng first game nila na parang hindi na papagod to. Especially their rookies adjusted well sa system nila. Yeah, you and I covered that first match between Mapua and uh, their opponent in the previous game, San Sebastian. And grab yung improvement ng sophomores. And then yung mga rookies na pumasok na bago, si Rica Blanca and si Garcia. 
so promising with these new entries. And if you look at um, the scores, Gabby Roxy de la Cruz had 16 points, Raisa de Cablanca 10 points, and Frey Garcia 11 points. Yung yung top three scores nila during that game, Anton. All right, let's turn it over to our venue announcer. Season 99, new heroes of the game. Dito, Live going on sa GTV. Worldwide, it's from Magita ng GMA, Pinoy TV, at GMA News TV International. At may live streaming pa sa GMANetwork.com and CAA Philippines website, YouTube at Facebook with NCAA updates, highlights, and results on GMA Integrated News. Presenting our game officials for this match, first referee, Ray Galve. Second referee, Rolly Casillan. This is match number 10 in the women's division between the Arellano University Lady Chiefs versus the Mapua University Lady Cardinals. Now let's meet the starters. First, for the Arellano University Lady Chiefs. Led by team captain middle blocker number 11, Dodi Batindaan. Oh, outside hitter number four, Hart Villaflor Flores. Another outside hitter number seven, Laika Tutlasan. Setter number 10, Bola Paralejas. Outside hitter number 14, Pau de Guzman. Middle blocker number 19, Robbie Matawaran. And their starting libero is number 5, Alec Pablo. The coach for the Lady Chiefs is Obed Javier. Now let's meet the starters for the Mapua University Lady Cardinals. Opposite hitter number two, Raisa Ricablanca. Outside hitter number four, Freyan Garcia. Middle blocker number seven, Babs Papiera. Setter number eight, Trixie Gohol. Outside hitter number nine, Roxy Dalacruz. Middle blocker number 11, Yana Ong. And their starting libero is number six, Princess Rebustes. The coach for the Lady Cardinals is Clarence Esteban. Lasan. Maglalaro ba si Laika Tudlasan? In that first match, she did not play. As we explained during the coverage, she was dealing with a back injury. But today, ayan na po, Laika Tudlasan, who was a super, super rookie in the previous season, number five in the league in scoring, tied with Roxy De La Cruz, averaging 15.6 points per match, is in uniform today, and she is in the first six of Coach Obit Javier. Yes, it's so nice to see her feel better, Anton. Diba, meron siyang back injury daw. And you see a different lineup for their first six sa um, Arellano University. You'll see Hart Villa Flores na starting ngayon. And also si Laika Tudlasan. But sa Mapua naman, sa Lady Cardinals, you'll see the same faces na nag-dominate nung first game nila. We actually called Laika as she was walking past by us. And we asked her if she's okay and she gave us a thumbs up with a smile. So, tignan natin. It's just nice to see players healthy and back on the court. Yes, it's going to be an exciting game today, Anton. Here we go. Mapua versus Arellano. Gohol back set to Rica Blanca. The new... Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, we hate to see this. Yes. Patindaan on the very first play of the match. She's holding on to her left knee. 
I hope it's not that serious because it's just the start of the game, Anton. It was a bad fall, so you will see uh, from the slow mo. Na I think um, yung right foot niya yung nauna. Is it uh, a knee problem? Wow, at this point, it's so difficult to speculate and we don't want to do that. All we can do is pray for the yes. best because Dodi Batandaan is the new team captain. Grabe yung kanyang pinakita in her first match. She was leading the way for Arellano with 16 points, 13 spikes, and 3 kill blocks. And then this happens to her on the very first play in the second match of the season in her final playing year, Melissa. Yes, and she was also the top scorer for their team during their first game. Again, we, we don't want to speculate. All we can do is pray for the best, but definitely a left leg issue yes. based on that replay. And maybe we can get an update later on from Aliana Faustino as Dodi Batindan is getting attended to now by the medical staff of Arellano. So, with that injury, early substitution, a rookie, Faye Mangubat, wearing jersey number 13. It's the number that Regina Rocha wore when she was playing for Arellano University and winning those three championships. And let's hope that will be the last of the injuries for today. Too strong on the serve. You will see the, en the energy still there. Um, for the players, despite the unfortunate event, you know, bilog ang bola, the, the game is still on, Anton. Let's see if Laika will go for the jump serve. Yes, she will. Ayan po, Laika Tudlasan. You know, last season, she told us during the interview, one of her favorite players is Mark Espejo. And we know Mark Espejo does that jump serve, and you can see... Tudlasan can attack from all areas of the court, pero siyempre, this is her first match yes. coming from injury. The lift is still not quite there, Melissa. And she wasn't able to play Anton during the first game. Kaya ngayon, ito pa yung time na kinakapa niya pa yung laro niya. Tudlasan last season had 17 service aces, so you know that's one of her strengths also. Rika Blanca going to be down the line. Alam mo yun yung strength niya since um, yung first game ever niya. And we asked her nga kung, kung um, bakit pa siya parang hindi rookie na galaro, but she just trusts her teammates. And you also see the bond of the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Saka perfect fit, no? Kaliwete and then playing that opposite hitter position. Hey, you, you want to see this from Arellano? New player, for sure he didn't expect na maglalaro siya ng ganito kaaga, but nakapuntos agad. Itong si Matawa... Uh, Faye Mangubat. Faye Mangubat, yep. That was through the block. Again, Rica Blanca getting another point. And Drysa Rica Blanca also is a good server, Anton. Not just, you know, a good opposite spiker. Was that a check ball? Okay, it's not a check ball. De Guzman will serve it up for Arellano University. Pauline de Guzman also is one of the key players of the Arellano team. A little bit of a delay there on that tip. Villa Flores popped up from the back row. Gohol will go to De La Cruz. 
Tudlasan. Second back row spike attempt. De La Cruz changing it up. Villa Flores gets the point for Arellano. You see the control there of Villa Flores. That was a soft spike, but no one was there to get it from the Mapua Lady Cardinal side. Part Villa Flores came on late yes. in the match and made a good contribution during that Letran contest. Gohol to De La Cruz. Even from their last game, ang daming pa spike check out like kinapa check talaga ni Roxy De La Cruz yung palo niya sa blocking kahit malayo siya sa net just like a while ago. And I think that's one of her skills also yung kahit malayo sa net mm -hmm. she knows how to get that check out. Meanwhile, Villa Flores talking about space in between the spiker and the net. Villa Flores is able to get a good angle with the ball going downwards. Even though medyo late siya na nakalaro sa last game nila, you will see na parang nakakuha siya ng confidence doon and ang ganda ng laro niya, sa, ang ganda ng start niya sa game na ito. Roxy, back row. To White. Pero I like that um, our sophomore spikers like Laika and Roxy are working on their back row attacks in the game. And sabi mo nga, di ba, na yung back row attack talaga, kailangan talaga i-master yan ng player. Parang, um, it's not easy to do that kind of spike from the back row. And we see a lot of players then, like uh, Gretchel Sultanes, parang front line yung back row attack. <laughs> yeah. and, and there was a time in the NCAA na siya lang yung bumabak line attack and siya lang yung juma jump serve yes. during her playing years. And now it's nice to see that the game has been moving forward and a lot more players are doing those advanced moves. Well, Melissa, the good sign about Patindaan is she's moving her leg and now she's being stretched on the sidelines. Kanina, they were, they were also rotating her left ankle. Mm -hmm. Tudlasan avoiding the block. Welcome back, Laika Tudlasan. And she gives Arellano an 8-6 to six advantage. When we come back, Ariana Faustino will give us her first report from courtside. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangan puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si... A Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament where we kicked off an all-out duel between the Arellano Lady Chiefs and the Mapua Lady Cardinals to avert defeat or cruise to a streak. Consistency laban sa teamwork. But the, my, many teams for this matchup, iisa ang goal ng ating dalawang koponan at yan ay ang uh, manalo. Pero simulan natin sa quick update para sa team captain ng Arellano Lady Chiefs na si Dodi Batindaan. Dodi actually stepped on the teammate and experienced a bad landing. She heard a slight crunch, she says. At initial diagnosis by physical therapist Alex Ginto points to a left ankle sprain. They will ice the ankle now and hope that she can return to this game. Meanwhile, galing man sa convincing na panalo, hindi nagpapakampante si Coach Aying Esteban dahil nakita niya na medyo mataas ang naging error count ng Lady Cardinals. Kaya sa kanilang short preparation ay mas pinaigting ni Coach Aying ang kanilang game plans. He assures that the Intramuros Bay squad will play their best to one point, set, and game at a time. So all for now for the two squads, Antoine and Melissa. And that's good. That's good. We see na nasa sideline lang si 
um, si Batendaan, si Dodi Batendaan. And we hope for the best that maybe we see her in the next set, Anton. And knowing Dodi, she's a fighter. Eh, palaban yes. yan. So, alam niya how important every match is in a single round-robin format. Oh. For a moment there, akala ko hindi pa tapos yung rally. Nag-celebrate na yung Arellano. Ayan, you can see here, Arellano celebrated, but the Mapua Lady Cardinals were still playing. You know, sometimes that happens. Oh, yeah. You, you celebrate too early. That's why um, it's also bad that you celebrate early, Anton. <laughs> hindi, pala, hindi pa pala patay yung bola. Meanwhile, Donna Paralejas gets an ace. It's surprising from the side of the Mapua Lady Cardinals. But their energy is different compared to their energy during their first game. They made a lot of errors from their side, especially the receive. Na yung strength nila yon during their first game, Anton. Uh huh. Gohol to Aliana Ong. What a smart move there by Aliana. She did that a lot of times too during their first game. Kasi usually pag gitna yung spiker, papasok yung mga yung defense eh. Kaya she always um, does that. Ilalayo niya yung bola dun sa dulo na kung saan walang tao. Veteran move at the hog dun. Right now, the errors, Melissa, are piling up for Mabua. You know, an error is an easy point, so it's a rough start from the Mapua side and also a good start uh, for the Aureliano Lady Chiefs. Tudlasan. Well, even though it's a strong attack, it's also a risk. And yun nga, you roll the, di you roll the dice every time you go for that jump serve, but we know Laika is very much capable of doing that. Yes, I agree to that, Anton. High rewards, um, high risk. Yep. Pau de Guzman. Ganda ng patong. So like their match against Letran, Arellano is looking good in this opening set. I think there's also a huge factor of... Laika Tudlasan playing with them again. Yeah, no, just just seeing that teammate of yours who you know is a force to be reckoned with, fighting alongside you, takimbagay sa moral. And Laika Tudlasan is also a ball of energy inside, just like kahit na yun nga, um, Dodi Batendaan is on the sideline. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights of the new team captain of Arellano, the Lady Chieftain, Dodi Batindaan. Ito yung kanyang numbers. You know, she's the top scorer of the team during their last game against the Lady Knight. She had 16 points, 13 spikes, 3 blocks, and not just that. I think the reason why she was chosen to be the new captain is because she's a very vocal player, Anton. Yeah. And iba yan, kailangan mo talaga ng tao na mag organize um, sa loob ng court. And yun yung may kita mo. Pero despite that, she's not inside the court right now. Nadya naman ang kanyang teammate na si Laika Tuglasan who's also very vocal inside the court. And we're really hoping that... Um, it's not that serious yung left ankle injury niya and she can go back inside the court. Knowing na mapuso siya na player and she's the team captain. You know, knowing team captains, Anton, <laughs> yeah. pag na-injure yan, babalik yan eh. Ayan na nga siya, naglalakad Ayan na nga. Ayan na, naglalakad na, kanina nakaupo yan. Ano yan eh, sabihin ko lang yung mga captain balls, like previous captain balls ko. Tipan mo lang ako, tipan mo lang ako. <laughs> babalik ako sa loob. <laughs> Tsaka yung, 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 yung lakad niya eh, parang... Gustong gusto na bumalik sa loob ng court eh. And, and you know, we're just so thankful that she's okay. Yes. Because it was a scary fall kanina. And going back to what you were saying about when you're a team captain, you have to be vocal. There were some huddles and it was caught on TV na 
Siyempre, nafa-frustrate na si Coach Obet because Arellano wasn't able to do what they practiced. Dodi Batindan was the one talking na in the huddle. Um, that's the that's the role of a team captain, you know, to uh, follow through kung ano may sinasabi ng coach. And that's Dodi Batindan for their team. It's now the biggest lead of the match for Arellano. As we see that spiking error by Roxy De La Cruz and... De La Cruz getting subbed out. Wow, this is a Something new. shocking turn of events for me as Roxy is their number one scorer and in is a rookie, Sinadine Berses. Let's see. They go to the middle, Bohol does, and but Lance Baviera gets the point. It was a good um, intention for the setter Gohol kasi hindi pa hindi na work yung wings nila eh. So, nag-re-rest siya ngayon sa mga middle spikers niya. Matawaran with a runner. Paralehas. Garcia. They go back to Frey. Garcia. Going cross-court that time. Tudlasan was there. Villa Flores cross-court. Rica Blanca from the back row. Wow. Wow. And that's a rookie, Anton. That is not easy, but she makes it look easy. Looking at the ball a while ago, it was really hard to, uh, to defend Anton. Clefty pa, that was from the back line. And sometimes it's an inspiring play like that that changes the momentum. Look at this. Berses gets an ace. At kakapasok lang niya. And that's a rookie player. Usually yeah. yung mga bagong pasok, kakabahan. But they don't see any, you know, jitters from her. And that's, an, that's, a, that's a great thing to see. Too much power there from Berses. Arellano. Takes a two-point lead heading into this technical timeout. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapo atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist. Super Roxy returns for her sophomore season and she was able to pick off or pick up from where she left off in their first game tallying 18 points. Yes, and she was also the player of the game last last game, Anton, and she got 18 points against the Lady Stags. And among all players in the league, nobody scored more than Roxy De La Cruz yep. in their first match of NCAA Season 99. And as a sophomore, she has more maturity now and guiding also the rookie players who are also providing points for the team, just like Garcia and Mika Blanca. Hey, I know that guy. Capuso leading man, Rocco Nasino, the husband of Melissa Gohing Nasino. Can I give a shout out here? <laughs> you, you know, it, it, the floor is yours, Melissa. <laughs> Hello to my husband who's very supportive. <laughs> Ayan. Siya na very high paid PA ni Melissa ngayon. <laughs> Highest paid PA ever. Free of charge. <laughs> Free of charge. That, that's what you call labor of love. <laughs> it's nice to see Rocco take in an NCAA volleyball match here today. Arellano leading Mapua 18 to 14. What we are seeing right now, Anton, in this game, ang lakas ng service ng ating Lady Chiefs na nahihirapan ngayon sa service reception ang Lady Cardinals. Ang kanina pa, ang dami nilang error sa receive. Huwag niyong madali eh. Ngayon, kung nakita niyong malakas yung bola, parang kontrolin niyo lang, dali niyo lang yung sikinda. Tapos, atake, coverage na lang tayo doon sa harapan. 
Okay? Na ang server, ang server nga doon sa dulong dulo, ibig sabihin, malakas yung isa-serve. So, banggain nyo agad. Huwag nyo na hintayin tumuhid. Bagay nyo. Kunin nyo ng kunin. Okay? So, ganyan lang. Sumalay ko na Totoo yan, Anton, yung sinabi ni Coach Aying, kapag malakas talaga yung server, umaatras yan sa dulo ng korte. Eh. Kaya ikaw din, you have to see kung maaatras ka din as a receiver. And kapag mga strong ball kasi, ang hirap, ang hirap yan i-control. Kaya itataas mo lang yan sa gitna. Kaysa na, you know, you try to perfect it, pero you're gonna make an error. That was Hart Villaflores starting off the rally. Wow! De Guzman, nagawan pa ng paraan. Balik ang bola dito sa Mapua. Gohol tossing it up to Garcia. They were ready for her. Gohol this time goes to Rica Blanca. Another, Another one. From the same spot. Back line. Opposite side. That was an, uh, you know, hindi siya sobrang lakas na spike, pero grabe yung spin. Kaya yung bola niya biglang bumagsak. Nakita mo yung libero umatras kanina, but she wasn't able to get it because of ang grabe yung top spin ng talo ni Rica Blanca. Paralehas to Tudlasan. And that's the Laika Tudlasan that we know. Right in between the blockers. Backline players unable to pick it up. Puntos para kay Laika. And very powerful din yung palo niya, Anton. And she's very vocal din sa defense nila sa blocking. Na nakikita natin yun, ang ganda ng blocks nila. You know, tama talaga yung sinabi mo kanina. The return and yung presence ni Laika has inspired her teammates mm. despite the early exit of Dodi Batindaan, their team captain. And you see her talking to her to her teammates beside her pagdating sa blocking. Oh, ito, ganyan. Oh, look at this. Oh, we block this. That's another one. I think that's three points already from the back line. Parang mas sanay si Rica Blanca na mas mahihirap at mas malalayo yung mga pinapalo niya eh. 21 to 16 in favor of Arellano. Running attack, Matawaran. Our Lady Chiefs have, have the advantage ng height talaga at all. Tall players, galing nila sa blocking, nahabot nila yung spikes, and ibabaw sila sa blockers ng Lady Cardinal sa game na ito. Gohol, Garcia, Popped up by Paralejas. Okay, that's a block by Garcia and Ong. Good timing by the rookie. And yung kamay kanina ni Free talagang naka, nakaibabaw, nakasakop. Tawag namin doon, umbrella, nakababa, kaya pababa talaga yung bola. It's a ball na mahirap um, i-cover. De Guzman. Perses. Kakikla. Avoiding that one. Magaling din ma magpasa ng bola itong si Kakikla. Alam niya kung out eh. On the third Tutlasan again. Arellano trying to close the show here in the opening set. Garcia able to pick it up. Perses. Oh, that time, tinamaan si Kagikla. Nag-alangan siya eh. Kung uli niya ba? Kung pasok ba? That's why medyo late yung pag-adjust niya doon. Donna to De Guzman. And Arellano is at set point. The Mapuy, 
the Mabuwa Lady Carne Dolls are having a hard time now with their blocking. Medyo naliliit ngayon yung blockers nila sa mga offense ng Lady Chiefs. Rika Blanca has been Mabuwa's best player here in this opening set. And she gets an ace. Ayo pak bitawan ang Mapua. And our Mapua Lady Cardinals are getting close to 20 na. So you're just one point from our Lady Chiefs to win this set. Bibigay ba nila or tatapusin na nila ito, Anton? But Arellano needs just one point. Can they get it here? Matawaran running attack. Buhay pa. Berses tipping it over. Free ball, mapupunta sa Mapua. Gohol to Berses. Down the line, Tud Lassan was there. Villa Flores, that hits the antenna. Another point for Mapua. Grabe si Tud Lassan. Masyadong malayo yung set. And pinilit niya pa na i-down the line. Kaya tumama sa antenna, Anton. Well, we couldn't hear so clearly what Coach Aying was trying to tell his players. But at this point, the most pressure is really on Rika Blanca. opening set, she cannot afford to make a mistake. And even if she's in the back line, she still uh, provides points for the team. Gohol was ready to pop it up, pero tinamaan pa ni Baviera ang bola. So, Arendiano, just like in their first match against Letran, takes the opening set. We'll be back for set number two. This is our live coverage of NCAA Season 99. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya. Coverage ng NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game, the Arellano Lady Chiefs taking set number 1, 25-21 against the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Melissa, what did you see from Arellano that they were able to take this opening set? This game is different. Their vibe is different. You know, despite, you know, unfortunately, with what happened to Dodi Batindaan, their captain, who's um, their leader inside the court, but nadagdagan naman ni Laika Tudlasan na grabe yung leadership, le leadership niya inside the court. And nikita mo, kahit mapadepensa, mapablocking, she, she was organizing their blocking, kaya ang ganda naman ng blocking nila to think na grabe yung offense ng Mapua University. So this is a good start for the Arellano Lady Chiefs, Anton. But unfortunately then, for the Mapua Uni Lady Cardinals, medyo off today, uh, off start for Roxy De La Cruz, but hopefully makabawi siya sa second set. 
and wala silang reception din. Kaya medyo nahirapan sila to convert it into points. Wala silang masyadong maayos na set and combination plays sa first set, Anton. Dinabas si Roxy De La Cruz and replacing her on the court, si Nads Berses. She was actually able to come up with yes. several points. Pero yun nga, iba si Roxy De La Cruz and what she showed last season. Roxy is back on the court, so syempre, nandudun yung tiwala ni Coach Ayeng Esteban sa kanya. Tignan natin kung makakabawi si Roxy dito sa set number two. And the huge factor during the first set for the Mapua Lady Carnidals was their errors. Ang dami talagang errors. So, that w that was an error. An error is an easy point para sa ating Lady Chief. So, bawasan na yung errors mag-adjust and for the Aureliano, just keep on um, going and ito ba yung game na to? Tinanong ko kay Anton, ito ba yung unang five sets? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to find out. Uh, wala pa tayo five setter so far. We've had um, three four setters. The rest have been straight set wins. Back set. Rica Blanca. Gets the point for Mapua. Yung bola talaga ni Raisa Rica Blanca, yung parang niya ang bilis bumagsak. Kasi sobrang ganda ng contact niya sa bola and yung spin niya. And ngayon na ba yan, even yung backline attacks niya, ganun din. Kaya medyo nahirapan um, yung depensa ng Lady, Lady Chief sa mga spikes ni Raisa. It's an error by Trixie Kohol from the service line. They really should lessen their errors during um, the second set because it's a do or die for them. Eh. If, uh -huh. if our Lady Chiefs will get this game, medyo mahirapan na sila. Ten errors is just too much. Yes, that's almost half of the set, Anton. Tutlasan breaks down the wall and you can see slowly Tutlasan is returning to form. Hindi pa 100% to eh. Pero may power na. May power pa rin. The set was a little bit uh, far from the net. Pero grabe. Dahil sobrang bigat ng spike niya, merong power talaga yung spike niya. It really goes through the block. Ong. Garcia. Another error for Mapua. The set was a bit low, so she wasn't able to... Nanggigil pa siya kahit mababa yung set, kaya nanem yung bola. Now it's Garcia who gets subbed out. Berses returns. Paradejas with a service error. Nads Berses starts this rally. De Guzman. De La Cruz. Back set. De Guzman off the block. Great coverage there for both teams. And nakita ni Dede Guzman, sobrang sarados. Ang ginawa niya is pinalo niya lang yung bola sa kamay ng blockers para maging out. Yun yung mga smart na spikers, Anton. Pag nakikita mo wala na, magpadaanan yung bola mo, papalo na lang ng malakas yan para mag-out. Si Laika Tudlasa natatawa sa sarili niya eh. Pasok pala yun. <laughs> Di niya in-expect. Because the ball was went kind of wide. Yeah. Tapos bigla na lang bumagsak sa harap ni Coach Aying. At ayan na nga. 
another high risk and high reward, I think. That's the second error yeah. from the service line for Laika. Villa Flores, blockers were there. De Guzman. And she gets the point for Arellano. Nakita ni De Guzman na open yung down the line eh. Grabe, kala, kala mo cross court niya dadalhin pero biglang pumihit. You know, her balls ang ninipis. Kaya lumulusot talaga sa mga blockers, Anton. Another one. Ang nipis talaga. Galing. And ang tagal ng hang time niya sa Eric. Kaya napupwesto na yung bola down the line. After that cross court. You know, at the rate Arellano is going... But if Dan can just rest the rest of the way, kung uh, magpapatuloy itong magandang pinapakita ng Arellano. And usually, di ba, Anton, pag sa game, like, um, pag yung captain ball or some, like, one of the key players may nangyaring masama, madadown yung team. But this is a different case for the Lady Chiefs. Parang lalo silang ginanahan na, oh, we need to step up because our captain is not here inside the court. And I think that's what's happening right now. Arellano just playing inspired volleyball as we head to this technical timeout. Arellano Faustino will have an update for us when we return. Good job, ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49 kilogram category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidelin Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban. Density is at an all-time high here at the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Now, Anton and Melissa, if there is one thing that the first game of these two teams prove, it's that old and new heroes will always show up and deliver the goods. Now, one of the players for the Arellano Lady Chiefs that has stepped up against their game against Letran is middle blocker Robbie Matawara. Nang makausap ko si Robbie, sabi niya, importante ang pagkakaroon ng puso palaban as a chief. No matter how hard the situation is, they can fight it all. Paalala nga lagi sa kanila ni Coach Obek. Kung sino ang mas matapang at gustong manalo, ay siya talaga ang mananalo. So they ought to show everyone what they've got and not let their emotions control the game. Meanwhile, for middle blocker turned open hitter and now opposite spiker, Lady Cardinal Raisa Rito Blanca embodies Coach Ayeng's words, Raisa, kailangan ka ng team in every game she plays. Despite being overwhelmed in her first game, Raisa's 13-point performance and genuine joy to play in the NCAA only fuels her to be more consistent. Iba talaga ang energy and atmosphere dito sa NCAA. So let's see how these players make some noise in this game. Anton and Melissa? Grabe pala, no? Pangatlong position for Raisa Rica Blanca. You know, Anton, I highly respect players who can easily adjust from one position to the other. Kasi yung iba, whenever you ask them, so how do you adjust? Yung iba, you answer nala. Nahirapan sila. But you see, Rica Blanca is doing great um, as an opposite player. And Rica Blanca had nine points in that opening set alone. And Roxanne De La Cruz is finally getting her groove. She had a nice powerful spike earlier and now she gets a service ace. De La Cruz had 22 service aces in season 98. So that is also one of her strengths. Villa Flores breaks the tie. That was a soft spike there in the middle and a little bit of miscommunication between De La Vero and De La Cruz. Arellano holding on to a one-point advantage. 
Alcohol on the second touch. Paralejas to Tudlasan. De La Cruz was there. Berses. What a coverage there. Good effort by Mapua. Oh! Donna Paralejas. Nobody was ready for it. We need to talk about Donna Paralejas. Grabe kanina, meron siyang one to play. And hindi siya yung spike na na soft spike lang ha. Like tuldok yung spike niya kanina but nakuha ng kabila. Pero what a spike there and kapag ganyan na pag nagpapalita na yung bola biglang din drop. What a smart move there. And no one was there. The Lady Cardinals didn't see that coming. One point lead for Arellano as Papiera. Heads to the service nine. Kagikla. Tudlasan. Gohol. Alian Ong. Paralejas, not that time. Gabi ato no, and daming spikers. Pati yung setter din ng ating lady chiefs, spiker din. Yeah, pati sa Letran, si Nat Estrelier. Yes. She, she can also spike that volleyball as we see. Tudlasan trying to go down the line. Free ball, mapupunta sa Arellano. Paralejas, back to Laika. Drop ball, Gohol. Versus her version of a drop ball. Paralejas again. Paralejas giving Arellano this one-point advantage. Sharp serve. How about that? Robbie Matawaran. Talagang pinag-practisan talaga ng ating Lady Chiefs ang kanilang service. May kita mo ang dami nilang points from their service aces. Gohol. To Berses. Berses coming in for Garcia in the first set. She came in for Roxy de la Cruz and she's contributing para sa Mapua. And she also had a, a service ace pagpasok niya pa lang. Yun yung nakakatuwa pag walang takot yung mga rookies. Versus. Tuloy pa rin ng rally. Laika wants it. She gets it. Kaya lang, masyadong malayo yung set. That was the Sanet. Speaking of Versus, she's not the, you know, powerful player, but she's a consistent player. Like, kahit na ang galing niya mag-adjust, kahit dikit sa net, yung kanina nangyari, na, na over pa rin sa net. She's a, she's a player na, na parang magic bunot na tinatawag nila. Still serving for Mapua. Trixie Gohol. Mapua has quietly overtaken Arellano here in this second set. Paralejas. Tutudlasan. Oh, Tudlasan gets roof. Solid block. Let's take a look at it again. What a match Rika Blanca has played. Double digits already yes. for her. And it's just the start of the second set. At kita natin sa replay. Alam niyang malakas pumalo si Tudlasan kaya... Napapikit eh, si Rica Blanca, but still got the block. De La Cruz, Rica Blanca. What a connection there from De La Cruz and Rica Blanca. Ang layo kanina ni Roxy, ah. 
At ngayon, nagbago na yung demeanor ng Lady Cardinals. They're now smiling, they're now enjoying themselves and communicating. In the first set, they seemed a little bit lost and shaken. Ngayon, buhay na. And Dodi Batindaan, Melissa, is back in the game for Arellano. Nakita natin si Dodi Batindaan kanina. Habang huddle, parang gusto-gusto nang pumasok eh. Pero napansin ko, ah, nakabalot na yung uh, left knee niya. And obviously, she has to keep moving that left ankle also kasi yun yung, yun yung na-twist eh. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Wala na namang uh, pumulot dun sa bola. Bola para Lejas again, finding the open spot in the middle. This time from the service line. This game is mostly sa Lady Cardinals. Medyo madaming miscommunication andon. Ang dami nilang tinginan sa bola. Na, oh, sino ba kuha? Ang dami ganong instances sa game na ito. And Todi Patindan gets a point and ties the match up at 15. It's telling the, the Lady Cardinals, oh, I'm back. I'm back, guys. <laughs> and that's a real team captain. Na kahit anong sakit yan, ilalaban ko to. Back in a big way for the ladies in gray. Free ball for Mapua. This is crucial right here. Gohol to Aliana Ong. Now Aureliano can turn the tide. Batindaan, De La Cruz was there. Here's the toss, Berses. Paralejas to Laika, to Lassan. Check out, grabe. And Laika to Lassan puts Aureliano on top, 16 to 15. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Seniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una na nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. A tight second set we are witnessing right here at Anyana University after a Laika Tudlasan spike. Gives her team the lead. Sir Peter Kaiko enjoying what his student athletes are showing today. Simula pa lang ng season eh. Everybody was wondering, oh, bakit nasa reserve si Laika Tudlasan? So yung pala may back injury, but she's looking good now in the second match. Father Vic Calvo, Mancom representative of Letran on your screens. Gohol to Berses. And the chairman of the volleyball tournament, Mancom rep of Perpetual Sir Frank Goosey. Now serving for the four, Nadine Bessie. Paralejas. Ang nipis ng down the line. Lead is back with Arendiano. Our commissioner, Dr. Robert Milton Calo. That's the third service error for Laika Tudlasan. This is a crucial juncture in this match. 17 all. More important for Mapua that they take this set. The Guzman. Paralejas back set. Good coverage there. Oh, wow. Pumasok sa loob ng antenna. Rica Blanca keeping the ball in play. That will not work for Villa Flores. She, she 
she tried to put it sa cross court sa front line, but it was not successful. Tsaka medyo mababa din yung set eh. Batindaan gets that one in. Wow. Alam mo yung pasok niya, yung may intention talaga eh. An ankle injury can't stop Dodi Batindaan. That's a leader for you. Gohol, Patong, De La Cruz gets the point. Combination play there and Ibabaw, si Roxy De La Cruz sa mga blockers. Vinya Blanca, Paralejas, back set, De Guzman, Bas Bas with a save. And it's her favorite spot. Is this the fourth? Yeah. Okay, the fourth point already from the back line. What a game this game for Raisa Rica Blanca and Todd. Salong katrabaho ng likod. Dumipin sa kain na kayaan mo eh. Andiyan na tayo sa dulo. Diyan pa tayo mag-ano, mag-bibitaw. Alam na, alam na na hindi mo ito bibigyan eh. Hindi huwag mo nalang parinigin. Pakit mo nalang. Okay na tayo! Pag-up tayo! Pag-up tayo! Totoo, totoo yung sinabi ni Coach na sa sobrang gigil na na depensahan, doon pa sila hindi makagalaw kasi hindi sila relax. Kaya pag sa depensa talaga, dapat relax na and you just you keep on moving kasi medyo easy ball din yung kanina eh. Napasigaw tuloy si Coach. <laughs> This is still playable. Tudlasan was there. Villa Flores. Hart Villa Flores has been stepping up for the Lady Chiefs. She did not start during their first game and she started during the end of the game lang. But nikita mo sa game na ito, grabe. Her down the lines, long cross courts has been given, has been giving their team points, Anton. Hey, one player that we also didn't see but has come on for the first time, Moming Padillon. Yes. Padillon averaged 12.8 points per match in the elimination round last season for AU, and now she's on the floor. And Casey Adante, who has been playing the backup center position, is in as well for Arellano. Let's see kung magbabago ang ihip ng hangin dito. I think the move of, of switching Hart Villa Flores kay Moming Padillon sa, sa front line is because they need blocking. They need the tall spiker. Kasi nandun si Rica Blanca. Kailangan talaga nila ng tall spiker sa outside. Oh no. Makua. Their first ball disappearing as Casey Adante gets the ace. And now Coach Aying rings the alarm. Coach Aying is was telling his players na don't give points easily. Ang bilis lang yun, yung misreceive, yung mga errors, ang bilis ibigay, and nasa crucial moment na sila. And paluin nila ng bola, they need more power pagdating sa kanilang offense. De La Cruz, oh, she was underneath the ball on that spike. Alam 
no, it all goes back to that timeout of Coach Obet Javier. That fiery timeout. Nagising, nagrespond yung kanya mga players. That's also a risk if you change your setter, yung 4 6 na switching. Kasi mag iiba yung set. De La Cruz. Oh! Another miscommunication there. And what a block right there, an emphatic block by Robbie Matawaran. Casey Adante, another one. What an impact. By Casey Adante getting an ace moments ago, and now this. A surprise drop ball that nobody was ready for. That was a Chisa et move. Yep. Classic. Roxy De La Cruz has to turn into Super Roxy right now or Mapua will be in big, big trouble. Can they close the set? Yes, they can! What a comeback by Arellano in this set. Quick play there and no one was there. Ganun talaga pag, pag gitna yung palo, mapasok lahat ng depensa. And it's really, it was really a smart move. And Arellano now leads Mapua two sets to none. The Lady Cardinals are on the ropes. We will be back for set number three. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan, ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59-kilogram event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024. Paris. For a moment, we felt that Mapu had momentum. They were looking good. They were smiling. It was a positive vibe. And then Coach Obet Javier calls a timeout. It was a very fiery timeout. Intense words. Very scary feeling. But you know what? It worked for Arellano. Yes, and Arellano has been more consistent from the first set and the second set. And... For the Mapua Lady Cardinals, they have been giving easy points, lots of unforced error from their end, lots of miscommunication. It's a different vibe from their first game. Yeah, and you hate to see this. You're you're just scratching your head and wondering, Anyare. I mean the, the joy is, is just in and out right now. Yes, and for the Lady Chiefs, you saw, you covered their first game. It's a different vibe, like way better. Oh, oh. Knowing that Laika Tudlasan's there, and despite all the unfortunate start of the game, you see that these girls are, you know, have a lot of energy, and they really want to win this game. I, I feel like the adversity galvanized the Arellano yes. Lady Chiefs, and we're looking at the numbers right now. Yes, because of a lot of um, re service received um, errors, and dami talaga kanina. 
So, um, wala sila masyadong attacks. And the Arialdo Lady Cheese naman, grabe yung depensa nila, yung receive. That's why ang dami nilang attacks um, for this game. Even their blockings, kaya organize yung depensa nila. Uh, Arellano University really played better for the second set. And they they keep on getting better and better. And you see their captain, Dodi Patindaan, came back during the second set. And considering, ha, nakasampung unforced errors yung Arellano, nanalo pa rin sila oh, oh. sa second set. What can I say? Is there anything more that we can say to stress the importance of the return of Laika Tudlasan just breathing life into this Arellano squad? And despite na wala siya nung first game, nakikita mo na talagang isa din siyang leader para sa ating Lady Chiefs. Back set. Rica Blanca, too strong. You know what, Anton? Si Rica Blanca, kung baka has been stepping up talaga. Kasi nung first set, 9 points lang siya. Sa second set, 13 points. Ang daming backline attacks. Lahat talaga, even service is for her. Um, but this is a team sport. So kahit frontline, backline, dapat din buo kayo as a team. Gohol, tossing it up. And Garcia with a check out. Garcia has been having a hard time ngayon pagdating sa spike because meron siyang tall blockers. Si Batindaan's there. De La Cruz. Also, right? So... Oh, this, um, correct me. Um, De Guzman was there. Kaya medyo nahirapan siya ngayon sa palo. Pinapacheck out yun na lang palagi. De La Cruz. Uh, Arellano's defense on De La Cruz has been stellar in this match. Basa ng Arellano eh. May kita mo, may tao na dun eh. Yan kasi yung, ano niya eh. Yung magic, uh, magic possession. Yan yung laging nagpupunto sa kanila. Yung area na yun. Solid Arellano crowd here today. And we can see, Mel, nag-adjust na si Laika. She... Because nakatatlong service error na siya. She didn't risk it anymore. Yes. She nurbol na ni Laika. Because this is the last set. Kunin na din ang power ibibigay niya. Well, let's see ah, kung uh, babalik siya sa pagiging risk taker. Ah, she nurbol ni Laika. <laughs> Yun pala yung limit, Mel, no? Yes. Pag nakatatlong service error ka na, okay, sure ball mo na. Uh -oh. But this is too much now. This is... Ayaw nang uh, mas lumaki pa ni Coach Aying yung lamang ng Arellano. Tumayaw na. Hindi pa tapos. Kailangan niya natin yung set na to. Buhayin natin doon sa loob ng court. Kailangan mabuhay tayo. Kailangan makuha ulit natin yung momentum. Ngayon, kung talagang bababa lang tayo ng bababa, hindi tayo makakuha ng momentum niyan. Diba, a game ng momentum to eh. Ngayon, pag nakuha natin, hindi tsaka tayo gumana. Sila lang, tuloy-tuloy lang yung galaw nila. Tayo, pigil na pigil yung galaw natin eh. Sige lang, nasa kailan yung galaw ang set. Eh, Naroon na lang natin ang galaw. The Lady Cardinals are, you know, in a tough spot ngayon. Kasi ahead ng, ng two sets ang Lady Chiefs, Anton. And ito na yung chance nila para makabawi. Or, ang sabi nga ni Coach Aying, pababa na lang ba ng pababa tayo? O magigising tayo at babawi? You know, hindi pa tapos ang game. Kaya sinabi natin during our pregame discussion, Melissa, na we can never doubt a Coach Obet Javier coach team. Na the experience is there. They know how to win championships. <laughs> Very hands on talaga siya. <laughs> Kita natin sa TV kung gaano kalapit. Kulang si Coach Obet. Kulang na lang pumasok na si Coach Obet. <laughs> he is probably the closest the coach who stands closest to the the court. Yes. <laughs> the playing court. To make sure his players hear him. But in that Gohol, De La Cruz. 
Oh, wow. It goes to the Arellano side. But Indaan manages to get it back to the Mapua side. Gohol, back set, Rica Blanca. And even though Mapua got the point, you could see yung hustle and yeah. yung effort ng Arellano diving for every last ball. Hindi sila nagtitinginan. Everybody was diving and dying for the ball. And we, let's talk about uh, Donna Paralias. Grabe, talagang dinidistribute niya yung spikes niya. Lahat ng spikers niya ngayon pumapalo. Ayan, back quick, front quick, open. Kaya medyo nahihirapan din sa blocking ang Lady Cardinals. Yun nga lang, sa pagkakataon na yun, sumobra yung palo ni Donny Batindan. May gigil. Aliana Ong, Villa Flores, Patindaan with some hand time. What, Power tip. What a hand time there from Patindaan. Ang tangkad niya eh. <laughs> Parang konting talon lang tapos step yung ball. <laughs> Gohol. Villa Blanca. Or Risa Blanca gets the point. And that's going to be an ace for Rica Blanca. Another service ace, Rica Blanca, is really the silent killer for the Mapua Lady Cardinals. She's not the type of player na, you know, maingay sa court, pero grabe, pagdating sa backline, frontline, nagbibigay talaga siya ng puntos para sa kanyang team. Paralehas, Tudlasan from the back row. Gohol. To De La Cruz, and De La Cruz breaks down the wall. And there was a stare down from her. Yan talaga yung approach eh, at yung palo at yung tamang elevation ni Roxy De La Cruz. That's what um, we've been waiting for for her. Yung angas niya sa loob na ko, eh, stare down. Eh, stare down din siya nung first game nila, Anton. De La Cruz, now she's getting her groove back. Wow. Middle yung set, ang liko talaga ng kamay ni De La Cruz. Raisa Rica Blanca, the 21 year old from Batangas. Matawara. Gives Arellano. This one point advantage, and when we come back, we will have another report from Aliana Faustino. Don't go away. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. New heroes take flight here at the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament matchup between the Arellano Lady Chiefs and the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Para sa Arellano Lady Chiefs, pinaalala sa kanila ni Coach Obet Javier na kailangan nila paigtigin ang kanilang depensa at communication. Huwag muna silang magmadali at mapagod para siguradong sa kanila na ang larong ito. Para naman sa kuponan ng Mapua Lady Cardinals, sigaw ni Coach Ayeng Esteban na huwag ibahin ang galaw nila sa ginagawa nila sa ensayo. Tayo mismo ang bigay ng bigay sa kanila, kaya sila lamang ng two sets. Kaya ayon kay Coach, dapat gawin na nila ang best nila simula pa lang. Layuan na nila agad, gawa nila lahat ng paraan ng problema at balik na rin nila ang larong ito. To end or extend, let's see how this third set spells the difference for this match. Anton and Melissa. 
I agree with Aliana. Makita mo sa first uh, two sets ng ating Lady Chiefs, ang ganda ng defense nila. So if they keep on, you know, doing their defense on the net and on the court, they can win this game. And for the side of the Lady Cardin Cardinals, you know, we are looking for their usual game, you know, yung ingay nila sa loob, kasi ang dami nilang miscommunication during this game. Yung angas nila and their blockings na medyo nawala itong game na to, kaya medyo uh, basag yung kanilang depensa on the floor, kasi wala din silang depensa on the net. But you know, Melissa, this is a good sign for Mabua, si Garcia nakapuntos in and out of the rotation here in this particular match, but she performed well in their first outing against San Sebastian. So let's see if the momentum will go back. But Paralejas continues to surprise us here. Wow, ang ganda talaga pag lefty yung setter. Nakakagawa ng ganyang klaseng uh, one-two play. Gohol. Aliana stepping on the brakes before elevating for that spike. Gohol. Garcia gets another point. That's back-to-back -back points for Frey Garcia. Frey Garcia has been making smart moves for the Lady Cardinals. Yung mga tip uh, um, outside the block. Tapos tip dun sa dulo, sa down the line. It's been doing well for her kasi medyo binantayan din siya eh ng mga blockers ng Arellano University. Kaya ginagawa niya talaga ng paraan. But with everything that Mabua is throwing at Arellano, the Lady Chiefs have an answer. And this time, it's their captain, Dodi Batidan, getting the point. You can see her, ala, medyo late siya eh. Pero buti na lang umabot siya, napaganon siya. But a point is a point, Anton. They will take it as they have the lead right now. Gohol. Oh, Aliana. Ong. Awkward tip, but a dead touch from the Aliana side. De Guzman changing it up in mid-air. De La Cruz. De Guzman. Gohol. Back to Roxy De La Cruz. <laughs> oh! Whoa, another <laughs> oh. one! Oh! Roxy De La Cruz with a little extra. I wonder if the Arellano Lady Chiefs saw that. <laughs> but you know what, Anton? I'm always waiting for that. Kasi, syempre, back in the day, you covered a lot of games. Mas malala pa dati. Oh, yeah. That, that was nothing compared to, you know, the famous, or should I say, infamous Lady Spiker swag, <laughs> which is part of the game. Ibaba sa blocking. Ngayon, pag nagsaswag-swag na, ano eh, it, sometimes it gets blown out of, actually a lot of times, especially on social media, it gets blown out of proportion. <laughs> 12 all, ang ating talaan. Gohol. Rica Blanca. Batindaan. Whoa, that was a miscommunication. That was a lucky point, Anton. It was set. Supposedly, para kay Dodi batindaan at hindi niya nakuha. Pero parang naging one-two drop ball. Play, play na rin yun. Let's consider that as a play. That ball was grazed by her fingertips. <laughs> but still, <laughs> nag-iba pa rin yung trajectory ng bola. Free ball for Arellano. De Guzman. Rica Blanca. Pablo. Hart Villa Flores. Paralejas back set to De Guzman. And she is able to break down the wall. Wow, good defense there from Paralejas. Tas nakita niya na nakabantay na yung mga blockers.
sa open and sa middle kaya nilagay niya sa likod. Back to the service line for Laika Tudlasan. Playing it safe now. De La Cruz down the line for Roxy. Roxy De La Cruz has been stepping up, stepping up now for the Lady Cardinals. Nagaangas na siya eh, pero kailangan eh. You need that, uh, you need that player inside your team, de ba? Every team may ganon eh. May yun talaga tagaangas, tagabuhat. It also gives uh, confidence para sa sa iyong teammates. Another net touch there from Rudy Batinda. Ayun, matinaw. I think what's happening now with her, medyo inaalalayan niya yung left ankle niya, kaya medyo... Um, medyo nahihirapan siya ngayon pagdikit yung set sa net. De La Cruz. Keeping the ball in play. De Guzman. Only one blocker there for De Guzman. Ibabaw talaga siya sa spiker kaya pumapasok talaga yung bola niya or lumunas sa blocker. De Guzman gives the lead back to Arellano. Gohol. Oh, too much spice on that spike for De La Cruz. And with that spiking error, Arellano heads into this technical timeout with a 16-14 lead. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61 kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49 kg weightlifting. Yeah, no, trying to close the show. After a disappointing first outing against Letran, we see this packed house cheering on the Lady Chiefs and later on the men's team on this Saturday. As Arellano looks for win number one in season 99 of the NCAA. Wow! Ayo pagpitawan ng Papua. Pagsak na bola dyan si Possession. Hindi pa nakaka-adjust yung Arellano sa ganyang palo ni Raisa Rica Blanca. Oh, was that on Whoa, the line? It was, it was on the line! What a game for Raisa Rica Blanca. This is her day. Back set. Gohol. Back row for Frey Garcia. De Guzman. Filia Flores. Gohol. De La Cruz. Was that a check out? No. De La Cruz felt so sure. Nahawakan ng player. Let's see. Parang sa pinky. But that was out for our referee. De La Cruz, pagkakataon bumawi. Wow. Gets it back. Foxy De La Cruz is saying, that was our point. Parang mala Bella Belen. <laughs> Yung pag-strut niya after that point. 
And now, De La Cruz is at the service nine para sa Mapua. Inside. She's heating up. Roxy De La Cruz is. So in the second set, Coach Obed Javier, his timeout ignited the desire of his players to close the set. Tignan natin kung mauulit yung pangyayari. Because right now, De La Cruz and the Mapua Lady Cardinals are trying to stay in this match. Ooh! How about that for the captain, Teres Manalo? Look at the timing. One on one, single block. Nakapayong talaga yung block niya kanina, kaya babang baba yung, yung bola. So, Moming is back. Yun yung mga block na mahirap i-cover at all. Yung talaga nakapayong yung blocker. Casey Adante and Moming Padillon are back on the floor. They also came in late in set number two. Villa Flores. Nothing there. Free ball. Mapupunta sa Arellano. Adante to Moming Padillon who breaks down the wall. This is no ordinary reserve. <laughs> That's Moming Padillon. Ang laki din ng advantage ng Arellano, no? Kasi even yung mga second stringers nila, pagpasok, pumupuntos kaga just like Moming Padillon. Padillon, again, was averaging 12.8 points per match last season. She was the second leading scorer of Arellano. Garcia, not over. And even if pumasok si Adate, um, um, iba din yung place na binibigay niya eh. Kaya medyo nahihirapan din sa depensa sa net ang Lady Cardinals. Casey Adante is one of those setters who's also a starter level setter. Yes. So Coach Obet has that good problem on sino ang start, sino ang mas babad. Because he has two excellent setters in Adante and Paradejas. As Hart Villa Flores, she is the X factor in this game. Yes. What, what an advantage. Kasi umaasa tayo sa mga ganong-ganong klaseng tawagan. Sinasabi nga sa inyo, mahirap nga manalo ng ganong hinahanap natin. Kailangan malinis talaga, nakikita talaga, kailangan palaban talaga. Hindi pwede nga aasa tayo sa ganong ganyan. Walang challenge, walang ano. Kung yun ang tawag ng letter, wala tayong magagawa. Kaya po, kaya ba hindi? Kaya po, kaya po. Ang ganda nung sinabi ni Coach Ayan yung last, kaya ba o hindi? Hindi dapat umasa sa mga calls ng referees. Dapat trabahuhin ang bawat puntos, lalo na sa sitwasyon ngayon. Villa Flores. Ooh! Wow. <laughs> How about that? Hart Villa Flores, the unknown entity. Nobody was ready for her. And the rookie making an impact. Welcome to the NCAA, Hart Villa Flores. Free ball, mapupunta sa Arellano. 
Adante. Not that time, Gohol. To Rica Blanca's favorite spot. Lahat puntos, Anton. Matinding yakap mula kay Roxy de la Cruz. Because Mapua may have been saved with that point by Rica Blanca. But they need more. Garcia! It was a checkout ball. And they got lucky because she was underneath the ball on that spike. Yon, Tumama sa daliri ni Matawaran. Kitang-kita sa ating replay. Laika. Drop ball does not work. Garcia gives the lead to Mapua. The game is getting intense. You see both teams are huddling. Both teams want to win this set. It's a do or die for the Lady Cardinals and for the Arellano. You know, this is this is the set to finish the game. Manalo. Oh, over received. What a save there by the Libero. Kagikla keeping Things alive for Arellano, pero sumobra yung tip ni Arellano Ong. That was a good intention from Arellano, but it was too strong. Pero ang ganda nun, pag pumasok yun, Anton. Good intention eh, kasi walang tao dun sa corner. Kung pasok yun, wow. And now, Harem Ceballos is in for Arellano. Gohol. Ooh! Garcia baby that spike. And that is an expensive error for Mapua. It's very risky if malayo talaga yung set sa'yo, tapos idadrop mo. Grabing control yun sa bola. Gohol. Another chance for Garcia. Aliana Ong, Adante keeps it alive. Free ball for Mapua. Gohol, running attack for Aliana. Whoa. What a smart move there by Aliana. Kanina, nilalagay niya sa likod eh. Kanina pa yan, from zone 1 to zone 6, two quarters, nilalayo niya yung mga bola. 23 all. What a match and what a set. We're in for a roller coaster finish. As Trixie Gohol starts off this rally, Ceballos with a pass. Patindaan popped up. Tudlasan regalo. Puede pato. Babalik ang bola sa Arellano. Padillon. Oh! Oh! That was a gift. Dapat. Regalo na sana. Tinapon pa. Nang gigil. Sayang. And now, Arellano is at match point 24-23. Donna Paralejas in front of a wild Arellano crowd. Whoa, Rica Blanca is saying not yet. Ito yung inaabangan natin, Melissa. 24 all. Both crowds going crazy. Momentum on both sides. But only one can win this set. A very crucial game. Frey Garcia. Kagikla gives it to Paralejas. Here is Pau de Guzman. And she gets Ruth. That's the strength of Mapua. Pag magkatabi si Raisa at si Eliza o sa left. Solid talaga ang block.
Well, a timeout saved. Arellano in set number two. Kumapit sila. They were able to steal that set away from Mapua. Can they do it again here for the first time in this match? Mapua is at set point. The rookie, Frey Garcia, is at the service line. Kagikla, Paralejas back set to the sophomore. Oh! Laika Tuglasa is saying she's back, Anton. Look at this. Back set to Laika Tudlasan. Lower back injury and all, but she saves the set, at least for now. Sure, sure ball pa rin para kay Laika. Whoa! Okay. Normally, you would think that she would go for the risk. She nurbol niya at nakais pa. At grabe, Anton. Si Laika, kahit na floater yung serve niya, ang bigat pa rin. And Arellano is at match point. Do you risk it? No. She nurbol ni Laika. Gohol. Rica Blanca with a drop. Arellano with a chance to win. This is Hart. Villa Flores. Paralejas. Back set. De Guzman. Hindi pa tapos. Gohol. De La Cruz. Arellano with another chance. De Guzman wins the game. It's as if Arellano has won a championship. The crowd is going crazy after this game-winning kill by Pau de Guzman. What a moment. And what a win for the Arellano Lady Chiefs. Follow the lights in the new business, we will change. 
What a finish to this match. Tough pill to swallow if you're Mapu University because they had a chance to extend this one. Pero ang Arellano kumapit, they believe and they were able to survive. So when we come back, we will have post-match interviews. Don't go away. This is our post-match coverage of NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game, live on GTV. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59 kilogram event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban para sa Pilipinas sa Paris Olympics sina E.J. Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. po ng ating pangalawang laban dito ngayong Sabado sa Phil Oil Echo Oil Center sa lungsod ng San Juan kung saan nagtagumpay sa isang makapigil hiningang laban ang Arellano University Lady Chiefs kontra sa Mapua Lady Cardinals their first win of the season and they do it in straight sets kasama namin ngayon ni Melissa Gohing na sino ang winning coach na si Coach Oben Javier Coach, pwede ka na mag-smile, pwede ka na mag-relax ng konti dahil sa wakas, nakamit nyo ang inyong unang panalo ngayong season. Kamusta ang pakiramdam, Coach? Uh, Siyempre, masaya. Kahit na hindi magaling. Kado na to. <laughs> Todo na to. Kung baga, masaya dahil yung pinaghirapan namin na kahapon, ah, ngayon, nagkaroon ng magandang resulta. Uh, last time, no, wala kaming passing eh. So, nag-overload kami ron sa kasablak. Uh, yun, receive and saka blockings kami ng mga two days na practice natin. Oo oh, nga po, kitang-kita po. Grabe yung depensa nyo, yung coverage nyo, lahat nandun ngayon. And coach, um, ano yung adjustment na ginawa? Pansin namin na iba yung first six nyo po sa game na ito. Yes, uh, meron akong ano ngayon, dalawang uh, bago. Si Tudlasan, pagbabalik niya, saka si uh, Villa Flores. So last time, kaya ako nag-decide na isa lang si Hart ngayon. Kasi nakita ko yung uh, puso niya last game namin na kahit na rookies, na nakikita natin na talagang uh, yung bata may talagang pusong palaban. Coach, simula pa lang ng season, nung tinitignan namin yung lineups, nakita po namin, reserve si Laika Tudlasan. E number five siya sa scoring nung season 98. 
Ano ba yung health status ni Laika ngayon? Kamusta yung kanyang lower back? Kanina mukhang okay naman pero hindi pa yung katulad nung last year na talagang uh, nandun yung lakas niya. Uh, kahit pa paano yung uh, pain na, na nararamdaman niya medyo less na naman. Uh, ayaw ko lang talagang isugal si Laika. Hmm. Pero sabi ko nga, nung tinanong ko naman yung uh, aming PT na pwede na coach, pwede mo lang uh, ilaro si Laika. So syempre binibigay ko rin yung trust ko doon sa PT namin. Yeah, yeah. So, Coach, ano ba yung may expect pa natin? Ito yung first win ninyo and sa mga susunod na games. Paano nyo po paghahandaan po yung mga susunod na games ninyo po? Siyempre, mas lalo namin pag uh, bubutihin, uh, mas marami pa kami dapat na i-improve para sa aming, uh, siyempre, yung game namin, every time, inaalay namin yan lagi sa school, lalong lalo sa aming presidente. Coach, isa pa. Simula pa lang ng game, natumba na si Dodi Batindaan. We were so worried. Akala namin, major injury pero nakapag-adjust kayo agad despite that unexpected happening coach paano kayo nag-adjust paano kayo nag-focus mas kina nangyari yon sa kapitana ng team mm, every ano naman practice meron talaga kami nga uh, sinisikit na tao so sabi ko nga yung tiwala ko sa athletes uh, ganun ganun na lang so, alam naman nila na pag binigyan ko sila ng pagkakataon hindi nila yun na uh, sinasayang Okay, Coach, dahil uh, nanalo po kayo, pagkakataon nyo na po para batiin lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa inyo. Uh, maraming maraming salamat at sa lahat po ng supporters ng Arellano. Uh, Lalong-lalo na po yung Arellano uh, Management, yung aming presidente na si uh, President Francisco Caico, yung aming uh, athletic director na si Sir uh, Valente Caico, at syempre Sir Peter. Sir Peter Caico po na lagi na dyan. Ang aming pong assistant directress na si Ma'am Joy Dilay. At sa lahat po ng parents at saka yung syempre YB ko na dyan sa gilid. Maraming maraming salamat at uh, makakaasa kayo na mas lalo pa namin pagbubutihin yung aming games. Congratulations again po, Coach. And congratulations to the Lady Chiefs. First win ng Arellano Lady Chiefs dito sa NCAA Season 99. Ngayon naman, punta natin si Aliana Faustino who is with Laika Tudlasan. Yes, Anton and Melissa, I am here with the returning open hitter of the Adriano Lady Chiefs, Laika Tudlasan. Laika, welcome back and congratulations on this win. Thank you, Bob. So, in the first game against Letran, you weren't present, and now you and they lost that game. And now that you are back, and Adeliano bounced back, how does it feel? Um, sure, po overwhelming, kasi um, sa school palang po, kasi madami pong nagaabang, and for sure, alam naman nila na na ano po na laro ko nung last season, and nagtatanong po sila kung bakit wala daw ako yung ganon, and Before the game, uh, nakipag-usap po si chairman sa akin yung school namin na kumusta na po ako, kinamusta po niya ako, yung ganun. Kasi kung if ever masakit pa daw, uh, ibabalik niya po kami sa, sa PT namin. Tapos yun po, uh, yung nafeel ko po ngayon is super overwhelming kasi na uh, parang nafulfill ko po yung mga wants ng mga sumusuporta sa amin. Especially sa akin, yung family ko, yung management po ng Arellano and sa Arellano fans po and sa coaches naman po. All right. So early in the first set, you saw your team captain Dodi Dodi fall down. So how did that motivate you guys to perform well? Um, as part of the team, po. Um, andun po ako para magstand out po. Hindi naman po parang like inaako ko po yung position niya, but I have a voice to para ma 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 pa control ko po yung team namin na kahit wala siya ti dudes, tulalaban tayo. It's for her, kasi para sayang po yung mga efforts namin. Lahat po kami nage effort tapos parang maglulugmok lang po kami kaya sinasabi ko po sa teammates ko na babawi tayo for her and mas tapangan natin kasi nawala yung team captain natin ipakita natin na lumalaban din tayo kahit ano po na nagagano pa hindi po namin expect na makakabalik po siya agad kaya parang tinapangan lang po namin and tiwala sa sarili at tiwala sa isa't isa kasi yun po yung team Alright, so in that third set, medyo tumagal tayo, extended, intense ang labanan. So ano ba yung naging mindset nyo para talagang ipanalo na ang laro sa third set? Um, before po mag-start yung third set, um, kinausap po, po yung teammates ko na may isang last set na po tayo and ay, last set na lang yung kulang natin, walang mawawala kung ibibigay natin lahat. And alam po naman po lahat eager lahat eager ma makabawi po sa Mapuwa kasi last season natalo po kami ng fifth set. Tapos ngayon po, pinaghandaan namin namin, namin namin po sila para alam po, po mag-bounce back po kami. And yun nga, great effort sa team and thank you sa coaches po namin. 
so like uh, ngayon na ang pagkakataon mo para bumati at magpasalamat sa inyong, sa inyong mga supporters. Um, so una muna sa lahat po, uh, thank you kay Papa God kasi andyan po siya palagi all through my recovery po. Um, prang, nung nag-prepare po ako, preparation for the season, dami ko pong sakit. Tapos andyan po siya, eh, nakabawi po ako and especially sa family ko po, si Mama, si Papa, yung ate ko po, yung kuya ko and he, si Ace, si Kubi and si Heather and Si Jam Jam and si Along po and syempre po yung jowa ko po and syempre po sa management ng Aralyano kasi andito po pa rin sila na sumusuporta sa amin and ready po kami bumawi and syempre po uh, sa mga Aralyano fans yung ano po namin tas yung happy birthday ati dudes and syempre po kinaka <laughs> po and syempre po sa family namin to uh, to the Lassen family po sa Tabuelan sa kay Ate Glenda and kay Mommy Ching po and Thank you po sa lahat. And sa mga hindi ko po nakalimutan kong batiin, nahin na lang po sa inyo kasi nakaka-pressure humarap sa camera. You know po. Yes, thank you so much, Laika Tudlas, and welcome to NCAA Season 99. Anton and Melissa? Basta hindi nakalimutan batiin yung jowa, di ba? Yeah, yun yung pinaka-importante. <laughs> okay, kasama namin ngayon ni Melissa Gohing na sino? Si Pau de Guzman. Pauline, grabe yung pinakita mo today. Sabi mo sa amin, first best player of the match mo since season 97. Matagal-tagal na ano yung pakiramdam? Um, masaya po. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. So, Pao, paano kayo, paano kayo naghanda para sa game na ito? Kasi iba-iba yung galaw ninyo eh compared sa first game ninyo. Yun, ang unang pinagandaan po namin is blocking. Blocking is kasi nga, Matlaking threat po si De La Cruz. Siyempre, yung last game niya po, yun. Yun yung pinagbasihan po namin. Tapos yung pasa talaga. Yun, dun kami nag-focus. Pasa and blockings. Napansin nga namin ni Melissa na na-check si Roxy. So, yung depensa niyo talagang naka-focus sa kanya. Now, tinitignan ko yung listahan ng mga scorers last year. Ito ka, number 50, 47 spikes for the entirety of NCAA Season 98. Pero dito sa larong to, Career high, 20 points. 20 points. Like career high ka. <laughs> Anong, ano ba ang ginawa mo yung para paghandaan itong klaseng laro at napakaganda ng pinakita mo ngayong araw? Um, gusto ko po kasi talagang bumawi kasi ang dami ko pong na-miss na liga kasi ang dami pong nangyari. Ah. Nagkasakit po ako, na-accidente, yun. Oh, wow. Tapos kakabalik ko lang po ngayong... Kaya pa dami pa lang ano pinagdaanan ni Pauline De Guzman. <laughs> o nakikita natin yung highlights, uh, napakaganda ng uh, pinakita mo. Lahat ng mga spots ng court, opposite, open, yeah, yung hang time mo. So Pauline, nakikita natin na grabe, condition ka talaga, grabe yung hang time mo. Ano yung mga extra na ginagawa mo despite sa training nyo inside the court? Kasi grabe talaga yung condition mo eh. May mga extra workout ka ba? Paano pinaghandaan yung season na ito? Wala po eh. Yung ensayo yung lang pa, po talaga. Yung puso lang talaga. Puso. <laughs> so ngayon, fourth year ka, no? So may isa pang taon. Apo. Okay. Pa. O sige, Pauline, yes. since uh, ito yung big moment mo in your career, batiin mo na lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa'yo. Ayun. Thank you po sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa Arellano, sa Arellano community, and kay Coach Landa po, sa pamilya ko, Yun. Sa mga kaibigan ko, tapos, and syempre, thank you kay Lord. Yun. Thank you. Big game for Pauline de Guzman. Now, let's go over to Aliana Faustino, who is with another player who stepped up in this game, si Hart Villaflores. Yes, Anton and Melissa, I am here with the very fresh rookie outside hitter of the Aureliano Lady Chiefs, Hart Villaflores. Hart, congratulations on this win. Thank you po. So, how does it feel to finally bounce back after your first hit? Of course, masarap po siya sa pakiramdam. Sino po bang, ano, di ba, gustong matalo? Of course, masarap po manalo. Yun, tsaka yun naman po kasi talaga yung goal ng team namin. Yun. Feels good po. <clears throat> so, in that extended third set, of course, it is, as a rookie, it is normal to have so much pressure mm -hmm. in a juncture like that. So, how are you able to maintain your composure? Um, ano lang po talaga, um, kumpiyansa lang po talaga. Kasi yun po yung tinuro po sa amin ng coaches namin. Kung sino po yung pinakamatapang, siya po yung mananalo. So, as a rookie po, um, inano ko siya. Um, inabsorb ko po siya. Inabsorb ko po yung 
uh, tinuro po ng coach namin na yun. And binigyan ko lang po ng confidence na yung mga mga ate ko na maglaro, magpumalo na malakas ganon. And sa loob ng court, syempre yung pressure, di ba? Um, tiwala lang po talaga sa kanila, sa mga ates ko. So now that the Adeliano Lady Chiefs have secured their first win, what can we expect from the team? Um, um, sipag pa po talaga kasi hindi po kami pwede magpakakampante lalo na lahat mo ng teams ngayon um, nagsilakasan po. Of course, kailangan rin po namin maki, ano, makisabay sa kanila na pa paangat po yung ano, AP Perform. Yun po. So hard before I let you go, bibigyan kita ng pagkakataon para bumati at magpasalamat sa iyong mga supporters. Okay, um, hello po sa Arellano community, kay Chairman, kay Sir Peter, hello po sa inyo kay Ma'am Joy, kay Ma'am Trina, and um, patuloy niyo po kaming supportahan sa mga next po namin na games. Minabati ko rin po yung mga ka-churchmate ko po sa Light, sila Mami, sila Daddy dito. <laughs> Tsaka kay Luis sa Orense family po, hi rin po kay Coach Lando Ortega. Um, and yung mga uncles and aunties ko po sa ibang bansa and sa Zambanga. Soft spoken off court but very explosive on court. That's your rookie outside hitter Hart Velia Flores. Anton and Melissa? I like how even though she's young and she's a rookie, she made sure to greet everybody very composed. And yun yung sinabi sa atin ni Coach Obet Javier, maganda yung pinakita ni Hart and that's why she got the playing time today. And you know, he's an experienced coach, si Coach Obet. Nakita niya na mapuso tong bata ito, kaya ito yung gagamitin ko sa next game. Alright, we'll take a quick break at sa aming pagbabalik, we will continue our post-match discussion here on GTV. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222kg. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi... Papatuloy ang ating post-match discussion dito sa GTV at Ton Ross alongside Melissa Gohing Nasino as we break down this big win by the Arellano Lady Chiefs against the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Personally, Melissa, what did you see that the stats cannot explain that gave the team of coach Obet Javier the win? First off, nag-iba siya ng first six at ang dami niyang additional players. So, yung Mapua Lady Cardinals, they look surprised with the lineup na nandyan si Laika, nandyan si Hart. So, they weren't able to to adjust kaagad kasi iba yung offense ngayon tsaka ng blocking ng, 
ng Lady Chiefs. So, ang dami ng adjustment ng Lady Chiefs and ang bilis nila mag-adjust. And pinaghandaan talaga nila si Roxy De La Cruz, si Garcia, and lalo na si Rica Blanca. So, um, Arellano Lady, Ch Lady Chiefs came prepared sa game na ito. And it also did not help as you can see the numbers here that Mabua, opening set pa lang, committed 10 errors. So, that kind of snowballed into the woes of Mapua. And then in the end, they were trying to get back. Yun nga lang, nandudun na eh, yung rotation ng Arellano. And then the confidence also did not waver. And kaya naman natalo din yung Mapua Lady Cardinals. Ang dami nilang unforced errors. And not just that, iba yung vibe nila ngayon. Compared sa first game nila, probably because they, they came, um, they were surprised about the new lineup. And ang ganda talaga ng depensa ng kabilang team. Mapanet naman and mapa-offense. Grabe yung coverage nila. And reception, nawalan din ng reception ang Mapua Lady Cardinals. Kaya they weren't able to convert it into spikes. Na yun yung strength nila. And that's also one of the reasons why every match is important here in NCAA Season 99. Teams will only guaranteed or be guaranteed to face each other once. It's not like in other leagues, na second yeah. round, you can adjust, pwede kang makabawi. If you lose the game, there's a chance you cannot get it back. Pag one round robin talaga yung tournament, Anton, kailangan talaga, the, every game is do or, or die. Kailangan manalo, importante. And hindi mo alam, bilog ang bola, hindi mo alam yung laro ng, ng, ng ganitong team sa araw na ito. Like, we are surprised na we are actually um, saying na baka five sets itong game na ito. <laughs> We're still waiting. Yes. We're still waiting for the first five setter. Ah. Hindi pa tayo nagkaka five sets so far <laughs> dito sa NCA Season 99. Sino kaya yung uh, makaka-experience non well? We're gonna have to wait and see. But, Melissa, one of the things that we always look forward to in any collegiate sports league is the emergence of new players, new yes. rookies. So we saw Hart Villaflores today. Of course, Rica Blanco of Mapua is a player na nagpakitang gilas ulit earlier today. In yes. the first match this morning, remember this name, volleyball fans, Gia Makilang. Malasisi rondina itong batang to. A great find by the Letran Lady Knights. She had 19 points. So nabit niya yung record ni Roxy de la Cruz, who prior to today had the highest scoring total in a single match with 18. We're gonna take a look at the highlights here. This was a shocker, ha? Kasi yung perpetual malakas yan. They were one of the top three teams last year. But Letran, who was not in the final four, beat them in straight sets. Ang laking bagay ng bagong sistema ng ating Lady Knights under Coach O. Mapapansin mo, iba yung galaw nila. They're more organized. And pag si Coach O yung coach mo, alam mo yung mga players na may puso yan. Ako, naka-training ako kay Coach O eh. Grabe yung mga one-man, ano, mga ganong klaseng training niya. Yung puso mo talaga, papatibayan niya. And may kita natin ngayon sa ginagalaw ng Lady Knights. At may angas din yung mga players ng Lady Knights. Nakikita natin, Judiel Nitura. Or we're not saying it's something that we encourage, but she does have those stare-down moments. She gives the players on the opposing side of the net the look. But yun nga, that's part of the game. It adds color, and that also gives confidence to your teammates na meron kang kasama na alam mong palaban. Yes, wal wala kang makikitang team na walang ganong player. Every team should have that kind of player na mag-aangas during crucial, lalo na pag 24 all. Kailangan mo talaga mag-angas, Anton, para lang maangat mo yung, yung kumpiyansa ng mga teammates mo. So now it's the turn of the team of Coach Sandy Rieta to go back to the drawing board. We're gonna see later on in the third set na umabot ng 30 yung score. And there's Gia Makilang, you can see She's not tall, but she has the hops, the elevation, and also yung ano eh, yung saya niya sa loob ng court. Pansin mo, grabe talaga yung condition din at katawan ng mga galing sa mga provinces. Diba? Si Kai, like si Sisi. Yep. Siya, galing siyang Bohol. Bohol, Tagbilaran City, Bohol. Ang galing talaga ni Coach O, maghanap din, no? <laughs> ang galing na, din ang recruitment niya, no? Kaya nung araw, tinatawag na illegal recruiter yan eh, <laughs> si Coach Oliver Almadro. And we're seeing the numbers here, pero yun nga, yung third set. Just like in the match that we just covered, Arellano and Mapua, humaba yung set eh, because umabot nga ng 30. 
kumapit yung perpetual, but Netran just did not want to let it go. They wanted to close it out in straight sets. Yun nga yung, ang sa volleyball and every game, yun yung, kume, yung team na mananalo, ang team na may panapos, katulad ng Letran. And the thing is, yung dalawang teams, meron silang closers eh. May MVP yung Perpetual, Mary Rose Dapol. They are a super sophomore in Shai Omipon. But Netran showing, as we can see, this was the final point ha. Isipin mo, tumalun, tumalun si Gia, you would think she would hit it with her right hand. Kinaliwa niya. Grabe, si Gia ba nag beach volleyball? Yes. Kaya naman pala. Ganun nila yung mga beach baller volleyball player like nga si Cici Rondina. Parehas na parehas talaga sila. Ito ah, mga awards ni Gia Makila. Rookie of the Year, Freshman of the Year, Most Valuable Player, and First Time Beach Volleyball Champion. Grabe. So like Cici Rondina, who's a multiple-time beach volleyball champion, I think four kung hindi ako nagkakamali, she could be a Cici Rondina in the making dito sa NCAA. And hands down to all beach volleyball players na sobrang galing din inside the court. Yung mga beach volleyball players kasi, just imagine, dalawa lang kayo inside the court. So, ang laki ng galaw nila, ang galing nila sa depensa, sa opensa, and grabe yung mga adjustment nila kahit yung mga, yung mga set buka or dikit sa net. Ang gagaling talaga mag-adjust yung mga beach volleyball players. Si Harem Cebalos and uh, Moming Padillon, they also played beach volleyball for Arellano. We covered them last season in Subic. So like you said, iba rin yung experience and yung skills na nadadala ng mga beach volleyball players indoors. Oo, grabe talaga. And may kita mo rin yung leadership nila. Kasi sanay sila na dalawa lang sila eh. So may kita mo rin yung mga beach volleyball players. Uh, very vocal inside the court. And sila yung may panapos din eh. Kunyari sobrang crucial. Sila yung, ah, ako to, ako, kukunin ko to. <laughs> Alright, so since this is just the conclusion of match day number 5 dito sa NCAA Season 99, balik tanaw muna tayo. Let's go back and take a look at what happened during the opening ceremonies of our NCAA Season 99 Volleyball Tournament. Dito po tayo ngayon sa Philol Eco Oil Center kung saan magaganap ang opening ceremony ng NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. At kikilalanin po natin ang mga players ng ating 10 member schools. I am Lizella Nierbeth for NCAA Season 99. It's official! Last weekend ay official na ngang nagbukas ang Men and Women's Volleyball Tournament ng NCAA Season 99. Masaya tayo no, na nagsisimula na ang NCA Volleyball, men's and women's. No? Especially, this is one season away from the centennial celebration. So we're hoping no, na we encourage the, all the fans, especially yung mga supporters sa mga atleta natin, na supportahan natin ang NCAA. This will be a very exciting season as we are seeing no, uh, yung pag-prepare, yung, yung uh, excitement ng lahat ng mga atleta, lalo na ang sampung schools ng NCAA. And we're hoping with your uh, support that we'll be able to achieve no, uh, milestones for the NCAA this season. We are very happy, especially na ang NCAA dito na ginawa sa malaking venue and also with the presence of our uh, boys and girls participation. Na kailangan eh, priorit i-prioritize din nila yung kanilang academics. Kasi sabi nga nila, ang pagdalaro is only secondary. Number one is academics. I'm hopeful na matatapos yung liga na ito without any kind of injuries na mangyayari sa lahat ng athletes. Super exciting talaga dahil nagsama-sama na naman in one place ang ating student-athletes from our 10 member schools. Hi, state your name. To solemnly swear that I will play in accordance with the rules and regulation of the game and to abide by the decision of the officials of the tournament. I impose this solemn obligation of myself voluntarily in thought, in word, and in that. Without mental reservation, I will practice self-confidence by showing consideration to all, especially my opponent, and never sacrificing sportsmanship for personal advantage. I will play the game 
always mindful, to be humble, in victory, and noble in defeat. So help me God. Po, excited po ako and um, excited po ako na mapakita po yung mga pinag uh, hirapan po ng team namin sa uh, pre-season uh, pre na preparation po namin. Sobrang excited po namin and uh, pressure konti pero nandyan na po yan sa amin, nakadikit na po as athlete po and siguro po um, honored po na ako po yung pinili ni Coach Mia na maging team captain this season. Sabi nga po ni Coach may mga binago po kami sa system namin and Uh, Na-apply naman po namin and sana po ma-workout namin ngayong season. Pretty day training, then uh, konting adjustment na sa system na tinatakbo namin. Well, uh, really excited. Every game, every moment na tutungtong kami. Kasi gusto namin makita yung mga pagbabago, yung changes and development ng team. Siguro po mag -e enjoy lang this game. Then wala pong pressure yung ano. Ngayon. Siyempre po, mixed emotions po. Um, excited as well as iniisip po namin yung mga need namin gawin for the upcoming games kasi we practiced a lot and gusto namin mapakita namin sa lahat ng games, lahat po nung inensayo namin. Oh, Siyempre, uh, sobrang excited ko and parang nang feel ko na overwhelmed na ako. Pero mostly, parang sobrang happy rin po ako na deep na po yung pinag-preparean na po namin dyan. Uh, preparation natin for this season. Uh, ano lang, tamang training po. Pero sobrang excited po. Kasi, yun nga, parang in this season po, makakalaro na po kami. Uh, Nag-work nag hard po kami sa training kasi po last season, parang kinulang po kami makapasok sa final four. Ngayon po, ginawa po namin yung lahat para makabawi ngayong season. At ito po ang mga kaganapan dito lamang sa Phil Oil Eco Oil Center kung saan naganap ang opening ceremony ng NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. I am Lizelle Nervez para sa NCAA Season 99. Thank you very much to our courtside reporter Lizelle Nervez for showing us the sights and sounds of the opening ceremony for volleyball dito sa NCAA Season 99. But right now, we interrupt this program to bring in a man who has worn many hats throughout his career as of late. He was a chef, he was a revolutionary, action star, capuso, leading man, you name it. But the two most important roles in his life is that of a father and a husband. We have Melissa's main man, Rocco Nasino, on the broadcast here in NCAA Season 99. Mel, I'm gonna give you the floor because this is the first time <laughs> you're going to interview your husband on live TV. I think this is the highlight of my hosting career, Anton. <laughs> this is your initiation. At sabi ko kanina kay Anton, susungitan ko nga tong katabi mo. <laughs> you know what? I've been telling him, hindi, hindi ito um, alam ng lahat, na graduate yung asawa ko sa Mapua University. Yes. Viva Mapua! Yes! Kaya kanina po mapalakpak ako. Pag, yes! Nag-cheer uh, siya kanina. Oo. Masayang-masaya na makita na very... Uh, into it ang mga players, no? Ganadong-ganado sila. At uh, ako rin nagtataka ko, ba't nga ba ako nandito sa volleyball ko? <laughs> At uh, ano ba kinalaman ko? Hindi ba umaarte ako? Napunta ako dito? Uh, andito ako para sumuporta sa yes. asawa ko. Yes, nice. siya yung PA ko ngayon. Oo, and, and <laughs> a very, uh, the, the most good-looking and the most expensive PA at that. <laughs> I mentioned it earlier during the broadcast. But sabi nga ni Melissa, it's a labor of love. Rocco is doing it. For free. <laughs> <laughs> Or so you think. <laughs> okay. Guys, uh, sa mga hindi nakakalam, Rocco was here. You know, he has the camera. He has the gimbal. You know, <laughs> taking the content of Melissa. But I want to ask you, Rocco, what was the experience like watching volleyball and seeing the athletes? Alam ko, nag-participate ka rin sa ating NCAA All-Star Game. What was it like taking a step back from your usual career as an actor and just watching the athletes here today? Man, I've always been a frustrated athlete. Uh, and when, when we got the chance to actually compete uh, with the All-Stars, dito mismo, uh -huh. iba yung feeling. You really have to... Uh, Be at par with their pace. Eh. So, tonto ako sa stamina at uh, um, sportsmanship ng lahat, ang galing nila ng lahat. At uh, sabi ko, hanggang sa pag-aarte na lang ako. <laughs> Pero, it's it's nice to see how far we've come. Uh, si Mel, I've been watching her when she was playing pa. Eh. Yeah. Um, so, it, this, this isn't new to me. Being here and being wowed all the time. 
uh, I've been telling friends to come join me kasi siya sabi ko palagi to watch live is a different kind of adrenaline rush uh, compared to watching on TV so tulad na ngayon to nag-enjoy ako kanina sabi ko kamel hindi ko siya guguluhin manonood lang ako dito <laughs> and true enough <laughs> nag-enjoy nga ako babalik ako for sure sigurado o oh, ngayon naman ikaw guluhin oh, pa naman si Rocco hindi salita Should I call you Rocco or... Ah, or? Dapat lang. <laughs> Walang love-love dito. Okay. So, Rocco, how was your experience <laughs> cheering I like for, the change your, of the tone. for your school here in the NCAA? Nakaka-proud, nakaka-proud. Nakakatuwa na makita na may ganitong programs. And uh, um, all the players are o- always vying for that, you know, that point. Um, nakakatuwa. Parang dati kasi ganyan din ako. Before everything, before my life, changed uh, through Starstruck. I uh, was talaga ako sa mga ganito, sa basketball, sa volleyball. And to be here again, knowing that, oh, narinig ko yung mapuha ulit, <laughs> ano matter ko to, na napapatayo ako kanina eh. It's, uh, it's nice. It's nice. It's, um, it's very nice to see so many players now. Um, and for this season, season 99 na, no? Yep. We're closing to 100. Yeah, next year, oh. we're preparing for it. Ito, oh. I, I can't let this pass because, uh, I received some news na about a month ago or maybe a little bit over a month, your wife was included in the Sparkle GMA Artists mm-hmm. Center. So mm-hmm. she's venturing into a new role. Yes. So how excited are you and how proud of you of your wife na you know she's she's trying to enter and show a different side of herself. You know what Anton? I've been I I was the one pushing your... for her to Take that step. Take that step. And since I'm here now, I have this opportunity to be in front of all our kapusos. Mel- uh, Melissa, welcome to GMA. Welcome to Sparkle. Welcome to NCAA. At pinapakita naman niya sa akin kung gano'n siya ka-excited. Kagabi, hindi ko siya ginulo. Kami ng baby namin. Nag-separate room kami para makapag-focus siya uh, para sa kanyang trabaho today. Kaya what I can say about Mel is she's very motivated. She's very dedicated to her work. Kaya I'm very proud of what you have. And uh, what's about to come in your career? I'm Thank sure you. Anton again enjoy ka. Si sabi ni Mel Tonto siya na sabi niya ay bukid na si Anton kasama ko ang galing niya. <laughs> <laughs> Pero yung ginagawa niya hindi biro kasi sabi ko kanina kailangan kailangan kilalang kilala niyo yung players niyo no. It's hard and you have to know what they've been through, what their plans are. Sabi ko uh, okay sa pag-aarte na lang ako. <laughs> Kaya na lang dito. Then, to add to what you were saying, si Melissa is one of those analysts who really does her homework. She does. She prints out the lineups, she writes some notes. Para pagdating sa coverage, meron siyang knowledge na may share sa lahat ng mga sports fans na nanunood. And I'm sure that she can bring that as well into the world of acting or hosting. Could we see a love team on screen in the future between <laughs> oh, wow. Rambo and Melissa? Let's see. She has to do the act- acting workshops first. <laughs> oh, but uh, I'll be there to support. Kahit ano man yan, Brother, you're not going to give her a hard time naman with the acting workshops, no? Um, siya mismo nakaka-experience sa acting eh. <laughs> <laughs> siya yung facilitator. Eh. So alam niya kapag peke yung pinapakita ko sa kanya, Toto. Pero, fun, yes. fun fact, Anton. Every time, like... He has work today, tomorrow, pag uwi niya, hindi ko yan kinakausap. Kasi minsan nadadala niya yung pagiging Elias niya dati. U- umuwi siyang Elias, hindi asawa ko. <laughs> Teka lang, tukos, pinag-uusapan natin ng NCAA ngayon. Hindi yung buhay nating dalawa. <laughs> Okay, Rocco, before we let you go, kindly invite all of our kapusos. Plug anything that you want to plug. Uh, go ahead. Yes, uh, una-una sa lahat. Congratulations, GMA, uh, uh, GMA Synergy and uh, NCAA for another season. It's nice to see all the teams here. Everyone's all pumped up, all motivated. Uh, big congratulations sa inyo lahat. And this won't be the last time that I will be here to support and uh, show my love to all the audience here and to you guys. Uh, saan nyo ko maabangan? Sa Sangre po, the Encantadia Chronicles. Uh, abangan nyo po si Akil doon and sa other GMA programs sa makikita ninyo. Thank you mga kapuso. With a possible appearance of Melissa going casino. <laughs> Alright, abangan natin yan. Brother, thank you so much thank for the time. So and much. do come back here. Thank you, Ms. Mel. Thank thing. you. Nice to meet you po. Can I get your number mamaya? <laughs> Okay, I will let the lovebirds do their thing. Keep it right here on GTV. Sa aming pagbabalik, we will close the show. Actually, no, we're going to stay on. And let's take a look at the schedule, or actually the team standings right now. So adjust natin, ha? Ayan. Dahil uh, nagtagumpay 
Itong Arellano, 1-1 one one na ang kanilang kartada. Mapua is also 1-1. One one. So, ito yung uh, pinag-usapan natin kanina, Melissa, na every game is very important dito sa single round robin. Yes, and makikita nyo nag-dominate talaga yung Benil Lady Blazers. And you expect them to to be great or to be better this season kasi nagbabalik ang former MVP na si Micah Go. And you see the LPU Lady Pirates with two wins. Letran Lady Knights who adjusted well with the new system. Ang galing nila under Coach O and Arellano nakabawi from their first game loss and Mapua naman. Um, they fell short today. That's why sila ang nasa fifth ngayon. And for the per Perpetua Lady Altas, J JRU Lady Bombers, San Sebastian Lady Stags, um, San, Se San Beda Lady Red Spikers, EAC Lady General. So there is still, you know, it's the start of the season. So hindi yeah. mo alam eh. You really don't know who's gonna go up or down sa standings. There's but um, every game is really important. And there's still a lot of time para makabawi. So if you're Mapua, if you're Perpetual, mas gugustuhin mo na naka-experience ka na ng pagkatalo early on so you can learn from it and then later on in the season, hindi na mauulit yung mga pagkakamali nila. I agree to that. Just like what happened to our Lady Chiefs na lahat ng mga pagkakamali nila during the first game, sobrang nagbago yung laro nila. Itong second game, they corrected everything. They, they're better now and new players, old players went back to play and to, to provide points for the team. Alright, let's take a look at the schedule tomorrow dahil magpapatuloy ang aksyon sa volleyball court on a Sunday as we usher in a brand new week of matches at 12 noon. So, take note po mga kapuso as sports fans, 12 noon po tayo magsisimula every Sunday. JRU versus Benil. JRU is coming off a win. Benil is 2-0 as Melissa explained earlier. So, this should be an interesting contest. And then, after that, Another very exciting match to witness. San Beda and San Sebastian, both these teams, of course, San Beda has a new coach. San Sebastian coached by Coach Roger Goreb. But both these teams very motivated kasi nga nang galing sa pagkatalo. Gusto nila makabangon today or tomorrow. Tama ka nga sinabi mo, mas okay na matalo sa una kaysa na matalo sa huli, Anton. Sobrang importante yan kasi one round robin lang po tayo. So isang beses lang po makakaharap ng mga teams ang um, opponent, opponent nila. Alright, so that wraps up what has been a very exciting and eventful day. Balita ko bukas, uh, one of your former teammates is going to be making her debut in the NCAA yes. as an analyst. Are you gonna reveal kung sino? Ikaw na. <laughs> Nabibitin tayo. Okay, sige, para sa lahat ng mga fans, make a risk. Yes. Yeah, yeah, will be yeah, yeah. debuting as an NCAA analyst. Shout out kay Mika kung nanunod ngayon. Your thoughts on her finally getting on board as an analyst? Sure, I'm I'm a proud ate knowing <laughs> na all of the players and daming opportunities. Thank you to the NCAA na you're giving opportunities mm. to all players just like me and yeah yeah. And iba din, kapag yung mga former players yung mag-cover ng game, it's also refreshing for us yes. and making us miss playing to inside the court. But at least, diba, you're still connected to the game and the knowledge that you share very valuable para sa lahat ng ating mga kapuso and sports fans. So with that said, maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Thank you so much for supporting the NCAA for Melissa Gohing Nasino, of course, our courtside reporter, Aliana Faustino, our director, Elmond Salvahan, and all of us from GMA Synergy. Ako po si Anton Rojas nagsasabing maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panonood and we will see you all again tomorrow sa pagpapatuloy ng NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game.